Welcome to Shorty Supercoach and welcome to another player profile. Starting to get a few of these videos flowing again, which is good after a bit of an absence after the laptop had a couple of issues. But um, look, I've actually just got back from a cruise um, around Kangaroo Island, which was pretty handy. But um, Shorty's back in town and um, scheduled a couple of videos to pop up throughout the week, which um, has worked out nicely. But I thought we would take a look at a player who might be of interest in the ruck division and i think the rucks are extremely interesting this season i'll also have a bit of a team reveal video coming up or my first team of the year blah 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 sort of thing um nothing too set in stone really i've only just sort of started to really hone in on some of the more precise positions but i did want to talk about todd goldstein today now the ruck as i said off the top very very interesting as to how we go about it I'm seeing some people go the double banger with Grundy and Gorn. Both going to set you back. Well, I think in total it's about $1.4 million, which is unheard of spending in our ruck division. We rarely ever do that. Um, but some people are just locking them and loading them. They're going to be the top two, they say. So why not get them from the very start? I can see the logic in that. Personally, think it's a bit too much coin. And then I'm seeing others that are... You know, going with one and then a Martin and a Goldstein or a Westoff. Um, some are looking at Shane Mumford. Um, Proust gets a bit of a mention from time to time. Naismith as well. So it's very, very interesting. I feel like there's a lot of ways that you can go about the rucks this year. And a fair bit will unfold as the preseason goes on. Maybe there's someone we don't expect to take the number one ruck mantle that does. And hopefully, because at the moment it is proving... a Bit of a headache. Um, so Goldstein, focusing more on him, had an outstanding back end to the season last year, which I think brings him into discussion because personally I thought probably, gee, a year and a half ago, I thought he was probably cooked. Even halfway through last year, I thought he's just going to be a solid player, you know, an experienced campaigner who gets by on his knowledge and his ruck craft, but you know, the days of him averaging nearly 130 in 2015 are long gone. You know, he's probably a mid to high 90s guy, maybe low 100s. Last year we saw the average of 101, but obviously it's the back end of the season that I want to hone in on a little bit more. Now, last year he tunned up 14 times, six of those over 115, and he had six scores below 83 of those in the mid-70s. So he's pretty consistent, and as we know over the years, you know, we saw him break out in 2011, and a massive breakout it was. He averaged 113.2, up from 65.8, enormous. 2012-93, then 113.5, 106.9, that big 128.8, massive season from him in 2015. 108.1, 94.8, and 101 last year. Now, we can often see, you know, it's not always whether they're in form or playing well, but sometimes with the ruck division, it's it's whether they're sharing it a little bit or, or who's involved. And Proust has, you know, shuffled him around at times. You know, they've shared it at times and it hasn't always been beneficial to the individual in Goldstein for his scoring. And we have seen him just look really slow and out of touch at times as well. Um, but last year, no games for Proust. Um, I'm not exactly sure if he got a little bit of support throughout the season at times i'm sure a north melbourne fan would be all over that one but the back end of the season which i was discussing i really want to talk about that rounds one to eight he averaged 84 then rounds nine to 23 massive and it's a take notice sort of an average 110.6 and he was just back to his very best really you know obviously not quite to his outstanding 2015 i mean that's not going to happen again that's just an outstanding season but in terms of really consistent 110s you know week in week out 105 125 115 you know just those goldstein numbers of of not only hit outs but you know really strong possession counts as well for a ruckman he really gets involved and that's what we saw now it was a bit of a turnaround in form it's hard to say exactly why um, but certainly he was in an outstanding touch towards the end of the season, and it brings him certainly into the conversation. You'll have to pay 548000 for him next year, but personally, he's in my team at the moment. Now, as I said, 
Very tricky with the rucks. I'm far from set on anything, but at the moment it is Grundy and it is Goldstein. Um, I think the fact that Tommy Campbell's probably the main threat in terms of taking ruck time away from him, and personally to me, obviously pre-season could tell a different story, but Campbell just seems like genuine coverage, you know, genuine backup insurance. Goldstein's going to be the man. I think there was this thought that Proust would eventually take over the ruck division at North Melbourne. He's gone looking for opportunity elsewhere of all places. Let's go behind one of the best ruckmen of the last five years. Let's go behind Max Gaunt. He's gone to the D's. I'd love to hear the conversation behind that one. But um, the bottom line is Goldstein seems to be without threat. And I think sometimes that's one of the main concerns when we look at our ruck division. And that's the fact that, you know, potentially if the team decides to go another avenue, how could this guy be affected? You know, someone like Stefan Martin, pretty reliable. And you know how big of a fan I am on him. I mean, I chose him last year controversially over Grundy. I pumped Grundy up all season and had him in my team until the very last few days. Martin wasn't a bad selection in isolation, but a stinker in comparison, so that hurt. But Martin's an absolute warrior. Goldstein is as well. They're both you know, into their 30s, been around for a while, seasoned players, you know what you're going to get. I think they're very, very good chances of averaging anywhere from 100 to 110. I think probably will most likely fall somewhere in the middle ranges there, sort of around your 104 to 106. And I think we can take that. The counter argument is if you've got Gorn and Grundy averaging 115 plus, you know, you're going to be losing 10 to 15 points each week. So that is the case behind starting with the both. You know, maybe Goldstein and Martin are just your place keepers for now you might be able to have a luxury upgrade at some stage throughout the season. Very difficult to predict. Anything can happen. Injury, breakout contenders, form slumps, change in the division of the ruck. So anything can happen. But what we do know is that Goldstein recaptured some outstanding form in the back end of the last season, and it makes him very, very tasty. He's undervalued in terms of his price, in terms of what he produced in what is a pretty reasonable sample size. You know, rounds 9 to 23, that's enough to really take notice. I mean, sometimes you can look at 6 to 8 game patches and it gives you a snippet, but the best part of 14 games there, um, you know, I think that's certainly enough encouragement for a guy who's done it season upon season. And 31 isn't too old, particularly for a ruckman, a late bloomer. I think it's very likely that his best football can still be now. I mean, we've seen Sanderlands continue to play great footy, and I think the ruck is a position where you can do that. Even if you lose a little bit of speed, if you've got that craft and that nous and an ability to be in the right spots, then I think you can still average big numbers. So, as I said, he is in my team at the moment, but the rucks could end up in any which way by the end of the pre-season and, and leading into round one. I think it'll be a very interesting discussion in terms of how we approach it, whether you do try and save 150k by going, which looks likely to be a Martin, you know, Westoff, Goldstein sort of player, um, which can save you that 150k. Maybe you go even lower, you know, is it a Mumford? I mean, Cruz has just hurt himself the other day, I believe, so I did like him. Can't be going him now if he's having a few niggles already. Um, so it's a very interesting discussion. I think it's going to be, yeah, probably the toughest decisions we're going to have to make because I must say from previous seasons, I really like to have two premium rucks. I dabbled with one premium and a mid-pricer for many years. I, I probably didn't pay the ruck it's enough credit really and it bit me on the bum a number of times you know likes of you know the names of Lewenberger and, and Bell Chambers and um, you know there were a couple of others of years gone by that just killed me you know you're stuck with them they're going nowhere there's not enough cash cows to downgrade if you have a stinker in the midfield with a mid pricer well almost any week in the early stages there's a guy in the bubble that you can just go bang 
where with the rucks they can just average late 60s 70s and you're just struggling you can't go anywhere there's no sideways trades generally there's not many guys coming through to just easily you know make amends and go down and, and save some coin and trade elsewhere but you can really get stuck with them it's a difficult one so that's something to consider but at this point in time i'm definitely endorsing todd goldstein i really like his potential we've seen it before we've seen it very recently and well for my sake at the minute if my team were to stay how it is hopefully that can continue but um let me know what you think whether you feel goldstein's a good option let me know how your ruck division is shaping up maybe you've got a sneaky outside sort of type that might be uh something we haven't really spoken about that you think's a good option but and as i always say you know if you've got anyone you want me to preview certainly comment that and i'll i'll look to attend to those um and as i said earlier a bit of a team reveal coming up hopefully early to mid next week so stay tuned for that i'll be back very soon and i'll talk soon cheers